Oh, I am Deadslot112 and welcome back for a new tournament of Deadslot Wars. This is something that probably might happen every month, I'm not sure. But um, this is a new style tournament. This is an Annihilator tournament. But this is the qualifying stages for the October Annihilator 2019. But, uh, and also, you might notice a new setup. A new style of commentary, but uh, this this is what I've chosen for now because it's sort of because um, you did. I don't feel like people could hear me before, so it's better commentary style sort of thing, so people can technically hear me and stuff. And yes, I'm using my gaming mic for it, so might as well use it as a commentary sort of um, uh, idea. So it's a nice idea for it, and um, yes, this is uh, the qualifying rounds for the Annihilator for October, but these Annihilators in Dead Slot Wars aren't like your usual Annihilators though, because in Dead Robot Wars it has six robots, but in Dead Slot Wars there are eight. Well, I used to do ten, but I'm going to do eight for now, because just be better, it probably may be easy, but this is going to be an eight robot Annihilator for October. So there's going to be more carnage, and more destruction, more rounds, more... It's a it's a new idea, new dis new discovery of designs. We can see more action, more carnage through eight qualifying uh, 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 battles, and then the annihilate itself. That's what we want, though, in in Dead Slot Wars. We want carnage, devastation, and destruction. This is what we want. But those robots who come in the arena will just go home. Feeling sorry for themselves, but you know what? We don't care about the losers. We care about the winners here on Dead Slot Wars. Here we are, ready for another night for the very first qualifying stages of the to the United for October 2019. But anyway, enough from me. Let's get on with our first battle. The first battle. This is Megahertz, Panic Attack, and Frost Queen. From Cardiff in Wales, Panic Attack. Panic Attack making its first debut in Dead Slot Wars, but here with its big, uh, powerful fox on the front, the driver of King Davis has always been a great driver in Robot Wars, but will he be here as well? Or will he be learning lessons of kilohertz driving into the pit? From Preston in Lancashire, Megahertz. Megahertz has got a flip, two flippers, one the, uh, so a flip up and one sort of front hinge flipper sort of style but you know what I mean but um he's here we saw him in, we've seen him in Dead Slot Wars but can we see him do well and here is from Hull in East Yorkshire Frost Queen Frost Queen has an overhead spinner at the front at the top and it ha can't self right so that might be a problem for it if it gets lifted over so once it gets two flippers which isn't really good that's not the very first start he wants here not ready, so anyway, rubber tears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. This is the first qualifying gr game for the Annihilator. This is a Frost Queen uh, Megahertz when I eventually reach him. And there he is. Here comes Megahertz. Megahertz coming on the attack. Megahertz trying to flip uh, Frost Queen over and Frost Queen mean attack. Now, Frost Queen. On the attack. Oh, and his head has come off. The overhead spinner flies off of Frost Queen, and Frost Queen has lost its blade. So that will be useless. So it'll have to be a potion match. And it's against two flippers, which is not the start it, it, what it would have craved. Now it's into. Now Megahertz trying to push them in. Now here comes Panic Attack. Panic Attack is coming in onto, onto um, Frost Queen. Frost Queen. Uh, oh, we lifted up now onto its side. Panic attack trying to get Frost Queen onto its side. Struggling to do so. And, uh, here co oh, now here comes uh, Megahertz. Megahertz coming on the attack. Megahertz trying to flip them. Trying to use the flipper to flip Frost Queen into the air and flip them onto the back. But no, not being able to do this. So, can they get them over? Yes, they can. Frost Queen has been flipped over now. And. Megahertz has got them over now. Here comes Panic Attack in for the computer. Now, will he give him a big virus, a virus room to taste of? But here, uh, but now Megahertz into onto Panic Attack now, and Megahertz is tossed. 
panic attack on to his side. And panic attack can't self right there. Now this could be a major shock if Megahertz was to beat panic attack. Wow, flipping them over. What a flip that was from Megahertz there. Tossing them onto their back and that could be it for panic attack. That could be it. I mean, I think Megahertz has won this. A mega, I think Megahertz is going to get into the go, going to be the first robot to book its place in the Eight Robot Annihilator for October. Wow, Panic Attack has been flipped over. Panic Attack is stunned here. You know what I mean, I think oh well. So there's only really one thing Megahertz can do. Well, Megahertz is going to go for the pit, and I think uh, well, Repbot needs to count out um, Frost Queen, and he will do one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Frost Queen has just dissolved out the competition and goes. Uh, oh, <laughs> you don't want to be on there, Megahertz. Otherwise, you'll end up in the pit. And oh, poor Refbot is flipped under his side. What are you doing, Megahertz? You evil little um, piece of shit. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that in the commentary booth, but. I can. Oh, here comes Dead Metal onto Frost Queen. Frost Queen being soared by Dead Metal. Dead Metal being trying to soar away at Frost Queen. Frost Queen being soared at by the claws and pincers of Dead Metal. But um, here comes. And uh, now here comes uh, Megahertz. Megahertz. I think Megahertz is going to sail the bride that is to beat Panic Attack. And send the former Raymond Robot Wars Series 2 range champions down and into the pit. Well, I mean, what else can they do with Panic Attack? There goes Panic Attack, they're gone. And, uh, well, my going to try and get Frost Queen up and out of the arena. Can they try and get her? Oh, I don't think they can. It don't matter. Oh, yes, they have. What a flip there it was. They got Frost Queen out of the arena, and Megahertz proceeds. What a performance by Megahertz. Didn't expect that at all. But anyway, cease. On to the second battle. It is Stinger, Brat, and Rhubarb and Custard. Let's get into this battle. From Derry in Northern Ireland, Brat. Brat is a flat bot which can spin on the circle but also can push robots around the arena floor. It isn't very reliable because, um, like most flat bots, are invertible, but Brat is not invertible, which is uh, weird. Oh, well, that's how it does to see it, how it does in the arena. From Branston in Lincolnshire, Stinger. Stinger, one of the most famous fat bots in Robot Wars, with his big mace of doom and um, his uh, famous wheels with all his electronics inside. But is this Lincolnshire machine going to prove up and prove for my county, or is he going to be just, or is Stinger's age going to catch up with him? And from Marseille in France, uh, Rhubarb and Custard. Rhubarb and Custard is a uh, sort of ramming robot but has very weak armor so it could easily fall apart. So, so they can keep together very well. Anyway, Roboteers stand by. 3, 2, 1, activate. This is the second pass. This is the second qualifier for the October Annihilator and now Stinger coming forward in onto the uh, Rubon Custer. Rubon Custer being flipped. Well, technically, we, we lifted up by that mace. Mace Stinger. Well, Stinger coming forward onto um, um, Brat. Brat being attacked by Stinger. Brat. Uh, and it. We and attack at all. Here comes Rubon Custer in on the charge. Oh, and Rubon Custer. Oh, pushing. Um, uh, Brat into Shunt. Now Shunt can come out and attack Brat. Brat has been attacked here. Brat. Ooh. This is not good for Brat then. The ZPs they don't want to be getting out of there. Oh, that could count against them if it went to a judge's decision. Here comes uh, Rubom and Custard. Rubom and Custard coming in on the attack. Here comes Stinger. Now Stinger needs to try and use his mace to try and cause some damage. And has done. To Robob and Custard. Uh, Robob and Custard has been damaged there. Oh, look at the damage being caused to Robob and Custard by Stinger. Oh, Stinger, what a hit by Stinger that was. That was some good carnage from Stinger. Stinger pushed, trying to use his m 
Mace onto Bratz. Bratz. Oh, Bratz suffering damage now. Bratz has suffered damage now and he's up and over. Bratz, remember, Bratz is not invertible, so that will be a problem. And they, uh, well, I think, well, Rubamacus is invertible, which is good. Isn't it? And Stinger coming forward onto Brat, onto Rubam Custard, Rubam Custard, oh, being destroyed here. And oh, Stinger causing damage to Rubam Custard. Well, Brats. I think it, I think it might be time up for a Brat there, because he's up and over. Can't self right, and there's only one thing Report can do. And count him out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Brat is counted out and out, and out. So just leave Stinger and Rhubarb and Custard. Is it going to be the French machine going through? Or is it going to be the British machine? Oh, I think Stingers. So oh, completely destroy this machine. Oh, poor old Rhubarb and Custard. What is it all together with? Bloody bubble gum. <laughs> But um, oh, I don't think there's anything life left in this robot before, to be honest. Uh, Stinger is going to get go towards the pit or oh, when he can actually hit the button. Oh, I pressed it down. But oh, pretend, oh, Stinger, you want to be getting away from there? Stinger has drove down. Uh, Stinger's drove down, but although although Stinger drove down, uh, technically, well. Uh, well, Rubo and Costa were immobilized, technically, because they were destroyed by a Stinger. But, um, well, Rubo and Costa, uh, well, Rubo and well, Costa went out ages ago, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Brat was out long ago. Now it's time for the house robots to feast on Brat. Brat, oh, I think Brat's going to go into where Stinger is, and Brat's gone down to, oh, let's clear up the rubbish there. There we go. And Rubo and Costa has gone down, but Stinger wins it because, well, obviously, if it were to a decision, it would have they would have gone through anyway. Well, the, we could see for ourselves they absolutely obliterated Rubo and Custard, and there was no chance for Rubo and Custard. But anyway, cease. On with the next battle. It is Danton Kier, Stags Two, and Wheelie Big Cheese from Church Sea in Surrey. Danton Kier. Danton Kier has a big, powerful flipping arm at the front. It's one of the most powerful flippers in Robot Wars and Dead Slot Wars. It's Really formidable, really fast as well. But will it do? Will he do well here in this qualifying match? He's got to play three, not two this time. So this should be interesting. From Mansfield in Nottinghamshire, Stags Two. Stags Two is a robot with a flip at the front and a big ram at the back. So could he use its ram to get underneath these robots. They both got really high ground here clearances. So should be interesting. And from Lamport in Somerset, Wheelie Big Cheese. Wheelie Big Cheese has a big, powerful flipper, the biggest here in Dead Slot Wars. But will he prove here, or will he be grated like it was in the Halloween special? Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. This is the next qualifying uh, 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 melee of the of the evening. This is the next column, and here goes uh, Wheelie Big Cheese onto Dan Tonkia. With Dan Tonkia being flipped by the cheese. Dan Tonkia, oh, struggling to self right, are we? Now, here comes Stax 2. Stax 2 trying to flip Dan Tonkia. Trying to flip them. Here comes uh, uh, Dan Tonkia onto Stax 2. Stax 2 being flipped into the air by Dan Tonkia. Here comes, uh, now here comes Wheelie Big Cheese. Wheelie Big Cheese flips Dan Tonkia onto his side. That's what giving a flip onto the side by Wheelie Big Cheese. We Wheelie Big Cheese. Oh, throws Danton Kit across the arena floor. What a flip by Wheelie Big Cheese that was. Now Danton Kit coming in. Self right in there. Stags 2 coming in. Oh, tackle. What a slam. My Stags 2 onto Wheelie Big Cheese. Here comes Stags 2 onto Danton Kit. Danton Kit. In an attack now, here comes Stan Tonkit on to attack on, uh, on Stags 2 and well, Dan Tonkit has flipped them over and, and Stags 2 can't self right. Here comes Wheelie Big Cheese on to Stags 2, oh, throwing them into the air, throwing Stags 2 into the air. Stags 2 being thrown into the air by Wheelie Big Cheese. Here comes uh, Stags 2, Stags 2 pushing. Wheelie Big Cheese into the ZPZ there. Oh, getting underneath with that big horn thing. Now, this is a, 
It's a really tremendous fight. Some good robots here. I know we be trees trying to flip. Stacks to over. Now here comes Dan Tonke. Dan Tonke trying to flip over. Ah, huh, flipping out. Damn it, are you? Why are you doing that, Dan Tonke? Not meant to be attacking the house robots. You're meant to be attacking your opponents. There, not. No metal. So here comes Dan. Oh, here comes Weedy with cheese. Weedy with cheese throwing Dan Tonke into the air. Here comes uh, Stacks two. Stacks two throwing them. Here they go. Well, uh, what can they all do best? Here comes uh, Dan Tonke onto Stacks two. Stacks two. We have thrown all. Could have been that. Could have been out of the arena. Stacks two. We have flipped and out to go. Stacks two. Stacks two is tossed out the arena. Hi, Dan Tonke here. Now, um, uh, now here comes Dan Tonke onto Wheelie Big Cheese. Wheelie Big Cheese is. We've got the biggest flipper in robot wars and dead slot wars at the moment. Now, what will happen here is, um, will this go to Jerris? Now, here comes uh, Dan Tonke. Dan Tonke throwing Wheelie Big Cheese. Here comes Dan Tonke once again, throwing them again. Here they come. Here they come. Here comes uh, Wheelie Big Cheese. Well, now Wheelie Big Cheese can come back on the attack now. Wheelie Big Cheese needs to try and get his flipper underneath. Here comes Dan Tonke onto the Wheelie Big Cheese. Wheelie Big Cheese with thrown. Wheelie Big Cheese! Oh, nearly out of the arena there. But this is a good fight here. We've seen some good robots here. Two very good robots. And thrown into the air. Time is ticking and <laughs> ticking down. How who will go through? I don't know. Now here comes Dan Tonke onto Wheelie Big Cheese and out goes Wheelie Big Cheese. Tossed out of the arena by Dan Tonke. And Dan Tonke goes through into the Annihilator. Cease. Well, we've got we're getting one heck of an Annihilator here. Some good robots going through so far. But anyway, cease.